TCU has centered in on Arkansas offensive coordinator Kendall Bryles to fill their recently vacated offensive coordinator position. Now, is this actually going to happen? I think that's the first question. We'll go on and pull up on the screen an article from Football Scoop. And uh, as you can see at the top, it says, Sources, TCU Kendall Bryles have mutual interest in Horn Frog's OC position. Uh, it says that Bryles has engineered record-setting offenses at Arkansas under Sam Pittman, also worked under Lane Kiffin, among others. Kendall Bryles, of course, was at Baylor when all of the stuff went on with his father, Art Bryles. Um, and we're not going to get into a discussion about what did or did not happen, who was involved, etc. Uh, we are well past that. You can Google, you can do your own research. I'm not here to give you an opinion on that. What I'm curious about is why in the world Sonny Dykes continues to try and hire guys that were at Baylor when that whole scandal was going. And I understand that Baylor was a winning football program at the time. And I understand that Kendall Bryles actually does a lot of the same stuff that Sonny Dykes likes to do with explosive plays, etc. Explosive plays are more important to football games now, even than turnover, if you really pay attention to the numbers. But does that mean that you, at TCU, should be willing to overlook everything else just to hire a coach in Kendall Bryle? This is not going to be a popular hire. There are some people that are fans of TCU football that will be willing to overlook things so long as the team continues to win. There are some people that are win at all costs at every school, right? Whether it's in the administration or the fan base. Yeah, we look at Texas A&M. Uh, we can laugh at the Bobby Petrino thing, but if that thing works, nobody's going to look at what he did in his past, at least not inside that organization. They're going to be looking at wins. Winning is, in fact, uh, what cures everything. I mean, it's the name of the show, right? Like, I... <laughs> It is the name of this show, Winning Cures Everything. And it's it's true, uh, but this would be another hire from that time at Baylor. Uh, the strength coach's name is Kaz Kazadi. And there was rumblings when Kaz was hired about, do you really want somebody at TCU that was at Baylor when all this stuff was going on? Kendall Bryles has been vetted. He has coached multiple places. You look at where Kendall Bryles has been. He was at FAU under Lane Kiffin. He went over to Florida State with Willie Taggart. He then went to Arkansas. He has been around the block, okay? And he has had successful offenses everywhere that he has gone. Does it always equate to wins? No, but that doesn't necessarily fall on him. His offenses have done their job. If I'm Sonny Dykes, there are other offensive coordinator hires that you could make that would still be successful, that would be less of a headache, that would not make your fans feel like they are selling their souls in order to uh, root for the team. I'm not sure that I fully understand what the point is. Why would you continue? Continue to do this. Uh, we'll pull it up. It says, uh, as TCU seeks to replace record-setting offensive coordinator Garrett Riley, college football's reigning Broyles Award winner is the nation's top assistant coach, one name familiar throughout the state of Texas continues to pop up, and that's Kendall Bryles. This is from John Bryce and Zach Barnett over at Football Scoop. Uh, it says, his Arkansas, or he is Arkansas's record-setting offensive coordinator, a Lone Star State native, and former University of Houston football player. Um, it says, one source with long-standing Big 12 experience told Football Scoop Zach Barnett that Bryles is real in regards to the TCU vacancy, with another source indicating it's real, but don't believe anything is done yet. Look, again, he was not directly involved in that controversy, and he has done good things. But the name alone makes people uh, recoil a bit, right? You hear the word Bryles, and you immediately start to think of things. Now, the other part of this is the fact that, uh, yes, you can point to certain things, but there was there were problems with that offense at Arkansas this year. So much so that there was widespread thought that Sam Pittman was going to replace Bryles at the end of this past season. Now, he did retain him. He is on staff. But this would be a bit of a golden parachute for Kendall Bryles. I don't think that it's a good idea to make the hire. And even if you do hire him and you continue to make strides towards winning a national championship, even if you were to make it to the playoff again or win another Big 12, well, win a Big 12 championship, I don't think that that necessarily uh, means that the hire was successful. You have to look and see exactly what your fan base wants, what your power brokers want. And I don't think this is it. I don't think the TCU fans and uh, the boosters, etc., the people that really support this school feel comfortable with having a Bryles on staff, having another member of the staff that was at Baylor when all of that mess was going on. I just don't. Now, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I, again, the name of the show was Winning Cures Everything. In this case, maybe it doesn't. I, I'm not sure. I can't wait to see exactly what's going to happen here, but man, um, I mean, that this one really had me torn over the weekend. I mean, you, you want to be able to win, but at what cost? At what cost? Psst. Hey, if you like this video... 
go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.